Hey, this is Gail Thompson with PopCulture.com, and we're here with Erno Priya, celebrity trainer to stars like Carrie Underwood, Kelsey Ballerini, Carly Pierce, and so many more. Thank you so much for joining us, Erin. Thanks for having me. So I want to start with the beginning of your fitness journey. You were actually in the military. Yes. I Talk was to me the, about that. I was in the Marine Corps for nine years, so I did two tours to Iraq. On my second tour, I led the first all-female platoon to be formed, the Marine Corps ever formed in the Marine Corps, but also it was the first females to ever be attached to the infantry. So that was my second deployment. Then I came home and I got out of the Marine Corps and went right back into training. Well, wow. So I was certified when I was 18, so then when I got out, I went right back into training. Well, first of all, thank you very much. Oh, for thanks, man. I appreciate it. it. So you came back, you got into fitness. How did you get people like Carrie Underwood and Kelsey Ballerini following you? You know, I think your passion shows. Mm. My love, everything about me is fitness. I love, breathe, I live fitness. And I feel like I never thought one day, oh, I want to train celebrities. All I thought is, I want to work out for a living. I want to train. And that's, it happened that way. I feel like if you go looking for celebrities, it isn't going to happen. You just got to let your passion throw, show through and uh, see where the world te takes you. And part of what you teach people is that you can do this fitness anywhere. You can do it in a hotel room. You can do it on the road. Can you explain that process a little bit? Yes, the whole world is your gym. I mean, why do you have to go to a gym? We have body weight. We have dumbbells that we can take with us. We have bands we can travel with. Um, use park benches. Use anything. Um, a lot of times people don't have time to go to a gym for an hour and they say, oh, if I can't work out for an hour, it's not even worth it. That's not true. I mean, work out for any amount of time you have. Just get moving. If you're with your kids at your sporting events, I mean, there's an hour. You got an hour of fitness while you're watching them do whatever they're doing. So no excuses. That's my motto. The whole world's your gym and no excuses. No Just ex fit it in when and where you can. <laughs> have fun. And last question, nutrition. So I was reading about you and you don't cut things out completely. No. I'm all about living a balanced, healthy lifestyle. So my book, The 4x4 Diet, goes into um, how I live every day and how I teach my clients to do the same thing. I'm all about, when, you still need carbs. Carbs are your energy source. Eat them early in the day so you have time to burn them. But you have to eat the right ones. I'm not saying go load up on white bread. I mean the quinoas, the oatmeals, things like that are great just, just when you eat them. So you want to use them. So yes, I'm all about a balanced, healthy lifestyle, but I want everybody to have Fun because mm. what is life if you're not loving it? What's your biggest indulgence? Donuts. <gasps> Ooh, donuts. Mine too. Yes. So Erin Apria just said we can have donuts. You heard it from but her. But you heard me say moderation and balance. Like I don't go eat ten donuts. I'll have like you know a couple bites and I give my husband he eats a ten. Yeah. Just yeah. kidding. He okay. might. So. Everybody talks about Carrie Underwood's legs. Well, they're beautiful. How could you not talk about them? So we're going to do a Carrie Underwood leg workout. Yeah. Hey, all you right. guys get ready at home because you can do it with us. Ready? Here we go. We're all going to do it together. <laughs> here we go, guys. Right, it's go. legs time. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stand on our right leg. Tap your left toe. All your weight is on that right leg. Keep your chest up nice and tall. Sit down in it. Now you want to make sure this knee does not go over your toe. Your okay. weight is on this front heel, okay. not your toe. Sit it down, take it back for a lunge now. It's two separate movements in one. So come down for a squat and then a lunge. Don't fully stand. You want to get that leg burning. Your weight is on your heel, not your toe. Heel. Yes. Heel. You're on your toe. Okay. There you go. And take it back. Squat, lunge. Yes. Ooh. And then when these don't burn anymore, you are going to throw some weights I right here. I was just going to ask, have you done this with weights? Yes. Weights make pretty muscles. I mean, come on. Why would you not add some weights to them? So squat, lunge. You want to make sure it's two movements in one. So take it down, squat, and back for a lunge. Chest up nice and tall. Don't round your back. There we go. You want to make sure you do the other leg too, right? Because right. one leg doesn't get all the fun. That would be boring. So here we go. Take it down and back. Chest up nice and tall. Come on, take I it down. I feel like this works your core too. Anything because that's it's making me hard to make not sure lose you're going into your squat. Go into your squat. Sit it down and take it back for your lunge now. Sit, <laughs> it, down. Sit it down. There you go. Come on. Now take it back for your lunge. Sit it down. Take it back for your lunge. Rest. So, hey, you okay. want to do like three rounds of 15 of those. All okay. right. You ready for another one? I'm ready for another one. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're going curtsy lunge. So you're going to stand on your right leg. Take your left leg at an angle. Keeping your chest up. Chest, chest is going to your quad, but your back is still flat. Okay. Dropping it down. This knee stays straight up and down. Don't let it bow over. Okay. Chest down. Bring your boobs to your quad. Hand to the floor. 
and little pulses. Ooh, that hurts. It's outside of that booty good. This is what makes Carrie Underwood's legs look yes, like Yes, and now you want to add weight into this <sighs> hand. Come on, baby, burn with me, burn with me. Let's do it. So you want to bring your chest to your quad, but your back is still flat. So you would put weight in this hand. Yeah, not yet, I wouldn't. <laughs> switch legs, switch legs, let's do it. All right, stand on your left leg. Take your right one back at an angle. Make sure this knee stays straight up and down. Right hand goes to the ground, okay? Little pulses, lifting that back foot. Getting the outside of the booty on the left yes. leg. Yes. As well as the quad. Good deep breaths. Your goal is to bring your chest to your quad as much as possible so you get <laughs> deep down in that butt. Yeah. Rest. Okay. So you want to do three rounds of that, 15 to 20 reps, depending on your level of fitness. Start with no weight, then add weight. Okay. And this is one of the exercises you do with the artists who are known for just their great physique. Yes. I mean, okay. if you want pretty You're legs, guys, right. do it. Okay. What's next? All right. It's done. inner thigh time. Woo! Okay. All right. Point your toes out at an angle. Make sure your knees track with your toes. Sit down nice and low, chest up tall. Go just a touch wider. All right. Hold down with me. We're going to pulse. 30 pulses. Your weight is on your heels. Stay down low. Your goal is to get your legs parallel to the ground. 30 of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. If you put some good music on, you can dance with it. And then you're gonna go 20 bigger range of motion. Now you're gonna go 20 right here. That almost feels easier to me. It does for a second. And then it doesn't anymore. But make sure you don't lock your legs. Even, you don't fully extend. So you just okay. come up to about right there. I thought I was in shape. And then we're gonna take it back down. Hold. This is a series where you don't fully stand. Hold down lower. You got 15 pulses now. 15 of these bad boys. So you got 30 pulses, 20 big range of motion, 15 pulses, and you can hold weight here for the whole time if you want. Okay? There you go. You do that with weights? Yeah. How much weight do you use? I usually use anywhere from a 35 to a 50 pound. Oh, God bless. Okay, what's next? All right, guys, we're gonna stand on our right leg, tap our left toe, come down for a squat, come up part way, squeeze it straight back. Down, squeeze. Don't let this leg straighten. So you got 15 squeezing it back, down, squeeze it back. I just feel like I need a balance bar. If you need to hold on to a chair or something at home, guys, make sure you do that. And then we're gonna go 15 to the outside now. Take your leg out. Don't let this leg straighten though. Keep that tension on the booty and the quad. Come out, squeeze, down, squeeze. Yes, last one. 15 each direction, both legs. Hey, we're taking it to the floor now. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. All right. All right, here we go. All right, keeping your core tight, make sure you engage your abs. You don't wanna have an arch in your back. Okay. Bring your right leg up, like you're peeing on a fire hydrant, and slide it straight back. Point that toe, slide it in. I call these table slides, because you don't want your knee to drop. Keep it up okay. nice and high. Right here. All right. Slide it in. Slide it back. You want to get 15 on each leg. When you get in the back, you want to make sure you fully extend. Get a good squeeze on that booty. Yes, good strong booty. You want to carry Underwood booty? This is what you do. Yeah, I mean, have you seen Casey Musgrave's booty lately? I know. Yeah, we've been working a lot of booty Girlfriend lately. Girlfriend is in shape. All right, now take it in, same leg. Do little circles with the fire hydrant. Oh yeah, light that bad boy up. Circle it, circle it. Keep it up as high as you can, guys. Yeah. Yours is oh, oh, like a little cramp. <laughs> yeah, a little cramp. <laughs> My legs are clearly not used to circling around fire hydrants. So do 15 table slides and then 20 little circles, and then rest the booty. Shake it out a little bit, and let's go to the other side. All right, let's do it. You want to do the other side? Let's yeah, do let's do it. All right, bring that left leg up. Take it straight back. Squeeze. Slide it in, squeeze it back. Yes. Come on, keep that knee up nice and tall. It's keep harder it than you think it, it is. is. Most people's knee wants to drop like that. Yep. But you want to slide it you like really you're sliding it across the table. You really have to think about what you're doing because yeah. it's not your natural movement. No, but it's really good for the butt. There we go. All right, bring it in. Now you're going to do 20 little circles. Circle it. Everybody watching, yes. this is a lot harder than it looks. I'm just saying. You got it. All right. 
We're gonna do that three times. Okay. Does that sound like fun? Sounds like a lot of fun. That was a killer workout. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. That I hope so you guys could do that at home. And I feel like I could do this literally anywhere. But guess what? Yes. You cannot out train a bad diet. It doesn't matter how much you try. You have to eat clean to get lean, work out to get strong. So guys, I have this free app called Menued. It is amazing. It's an absolutely free, 100% free meal plan for everybody. It's my goal is to get everybody healthy. You guys, you can do it. All you gotta do is download Menued, M-E-N-U-D. Follow me, cause I'm the coolest, just kidding. She is actually. <laughs> I'm really not, I just like to have fun. Follow me and then grab my plate list. That's what my meal plan is called. Every week I change it out. And the best part is it gives you a whole grocery list. That's amazing. You take it to, and you just check it off on the, at the grocery store. And it puts it like in order. It puts all the produce together. It's so nice and organized. I am obsessed with this. Is this what a lot of your clients use also? Yes, it's, a, it's my method of eating. It's the philosophy that I have laid out for you in the 4i4 diet book. Um, now I've just made it to where the menus just change every week. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Erin. Thank for you, guys. more on Erin, the artist she trains, and all your other celebrities, please visit popculture.com.